Hey guys, it's Christy with Chit Chat with the Crazy Chicks. How is everybody? I hope you all are doing well. I'm having a bad hair day. So if you're watching this on YouTube, I do apologize. Um, today I'm going to be here with you solo, but I'm going to be talking about some Titanic facts. I am a huge Titanic um, fan. I don't know all the details by heart i do know some of course um we all know that it sank well it started sinking on april 14th and it did not actually go under until april 15th i think at 2 20 a.m took about two hours and 40 minutes for the titanic to sink to the bottom of the ocean and this is something that's happened over a hundred years ago i think maybe 109 years um is what i calculated and it's just one of the saddest stories um, from the world, and it's still talked about to this day. And you know, the movie by James Cameron just made headlines and made millions and millions of dollars. And I'm I'm looking for another one to come out anytime because it there's so many that have been made, so many books written. And I actually used to work for a company. Sorry, um, I worked for a company a long time ago that. There was a customer that came in and she was also a fan of the Titanic. And we were talking, I'm, I'm not sure exactly how the conversation started, but she said, I have copies of the original newspaper and I flipped out and I said, holy cow, can you bring them in one day so I can see them? And she said, yeah, but I'll do better. She said, I'll photocopy them for you. So I actually have photocopies of the original newspaper about the sinking of the titanic so to me that's priceless and i'm going to hang on to those pass them down to my daughter what she does with them i don't know they're probably not worth anything because they're copies but still they're copies of the original titanic sinking newspaper okay so i'm going to hang on to those um, um just some facts that i wanted to go over with you the titanic um the idea was actually born at a dinner party in the summer of 1907. It was held at the London mansion of Lord Piri and chairman of Harland and Wolf Shipbuilders and attended by J. Bruce Ismay. Now, for those of you that have watched the movie or have any kind of recollection of the Titanic, you know that Bruce Ismay was one of the, the people that was involved with the building and the designing of the ship. And also, one that jumped onto the lifeboat to save his life. He didn't go down with the ship like most of the men. He actually jumped on board a lifeboat to save his own life and actually got a lot of flack for that. Um, I'm not sure if what I was looking at tells about that. I would love to go into a story about Bruce Ismay because I can understand why he did what he did, but of course, Women and Children First was what was going on at the time, and he, all he could think about was just saving his own life, which didn't go over very well with a lot of the people there. The Titanic was um, weighted in at 53,000 tons. Its top speed was always around 22 to 24 knots, and where the name Titanic came from was the Titans in Greek mythology were a legendary race of giants. And the White Star Line was always wanting to name their ships with something that ended in IC or IA. So you've got like, um, what were they? The Baltic, the Majestic, the Mar Mauritania, I don't even know, and Louisiana. Lu Luce, yeah, anyway. So there was born the Titanic. That's the one I could pronounce good. That's the one I'm going to talk about. So, and they say, is it true that somebody predicted the disaster of the Titanic? And it says, the ship was a fabulous passenger line, larger than any had ever been built, and it was called unsinkable. So it was called the Titan, but only existed in a novel called Futility by Morgan Robertson. Fourteen years later, the Titanic disaster would make his story come true. Okay, let me backtrack a little bit. The ship was a fabulous passenger liner, larger than any other. 
that had ever been built and was called unsinkable. Sailing across the North Atlantic in the month of April with many rich and famous passengers aboard, it struck an iceberg and sank. Hundreds of passengers lost their lives because there were not enough lifeboats. The name of this ship, it was called the Titan, but it only existed in that novel. So I did skip that first part in the beginning. I'm so sorry. So yeah, published in 1898, a story about the Titan that sank by striking an iceberg and hundreds and hundreds of people lost their lives. Um, and then 18 years later, of course, I'm sorry, 14 years later, the Titanic actually came to its doom and sank as well. Now, was it built to be unsinkable? Yes and no. The hull was built with a double bottom. As a safety feature, it was divided into 16 watertight compartments. So the ship could stay afloat with two of the middle compartments or four of the first compartments flooded. And nobody thought that the Titanic would ever incur any kind of disaster that would contribute to any more than that, you know, bringing the ship down. But like in the movie where the ship was turning, it hit the side and it hit more compartments than what they had anticipated. So all in all, if the Titanic had hit the iceberg head on, it probably would not have sank. It would have had some water, but it would have withheld and they could have made it to New York as their final destination. Nobody was actually stuck in the hole. Um, that was myth. So nobody was in there now there was a gentleman that was trapped under the hole i think while they were still building it and a piece of wood somehow pierced his leg they did manage to get him out but he did die later on and i think they said that was the second disaster um during the building of the titanic i'm not quite sure what the first one was i'm gonna have to do some more research to find out about that one but i will um you know but i also want to go over some things that they done on the ship for fun let's see where was that okay what the passengers did for fun children in first class could ride a mechanical horse or a camel in the gymnasium or use a stationary bicycle bicycle or rowing machine the gymnasium was reserved for children between one and three every day. So the passengers' dogs being walked by a steward every morning and afternoon on the poop deck. They could watch that. They played deck quoits, shuffleboard, or other games. Um, Six-year-old Douglas Spedden of Tuxedo Park, New York, played with his spinning top on the boat deck. And I think there was a scene of that in the movie The Titanic. And you also could attend a concert in the first class lounge in the evening time. Now, children in second class skipped and played games like horse racing. Um, let's see. One child pushed her brother Richard about the decks in a white star line stroller. They had a library on board where they could read books. And in third class, they played games on the poop deck, <laughs> which I've never figured out why they call it the poop deck. If anybody knows the answer to that, let me know. Frank Goldsmith says he remembered swinging on the huge baggage cranes in the well deck and getting his hands covered with oily grease. He and a group of friends he met on board ran up and down the stairs exploring every part of the ship open to third-class children. So the adults would actually go swimming in the pool for the cost of a quarter. Now, Men could swim free between the hours of 6 and 9 in the morning. But then again, women, we just didn't have those rights back then. So if you paid a quarter, you could go swim in the pool. You could play squash. Um, you could exercise in the gym. You could relax in the Turkish baths. You could play cards, read, socialize in the lounge or the smoking room, lay in the deck chairs, um, you can send messages to friends from the middle of the ocean through the wireless room and take photographs and develop them in a dark room on the A-deck. So that was pretty cool too. And actually this was a fact I did not know until I was uh, researching that the Titanic had its own newspaper. It was actually called the Atlantic Daily Bulletin. It was prepared aboard ship and in addition to news articles and advertisements it contained the daily menu 
the latest stock prices, horse racing results, and society gossip. And it said the passengers enjoyed most, the well, what did they enjoy most about the Titanic was the meals. Which, going on the meals that I saw listed, I, mm -mm, no. So, let me find where it had some of the meals. I'm so sorry, excuse me. Let's see. Do, do, do. Well, I don't see... Well, I read it earlier, and it was mm -mm, not good. Um, oh, okay. Third class. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's just start on first class. Okay. Baked apples, fresh fruit, several kinds of cereal, haddock and smoked salmon, grilled ham, sausage, and mutton, kidneys and bacon, Vegetable stew, fried, sheared, poached, and boiled eggs, plain and pota uh, tomato omelets, sirloin steak and mutton chops, mashed, sautéed, baked potatoes, rolls, cornbread, jam, honey, all that. Okay. Second class, um, the menu was very similar to the first one, but just didn't have as many choices. Now, third class is interesting. Um, oatmeal porridge, smoked herring, jacket potatoes or baked potatoes, tripe, ugh, which is a part of a cow's or ox's stomach and onions, and Swedish bread and marmalade. Who, my gosh, I guess I would probably have just eaten baked potatoes and oatmeal because out of that, and maybe the bread, but no way would I eat a cow's stomach. So, mm -mm. there were 2,207 souls on board the Titanic. Um, of course, they say there's no record of approximately everybody who was on board because there was no computer technology back then. And with last minute bookings and cancellations, in addition to those who missed the ship, it's impossible to determine exactly how many people were on the Titanic. So, approximately 2,207. So, anyway, there's just a little tidbit of information about the Titanic. And I will come back again with more fun facts about the Titanic because, like I said, it's just very interesting. It's a story that's still talked about to this day and probably will be for as long as this world exists because it was just an unfortunate tragedy and it just fascinates a lot of people. I just, I hate that it happened. I, you know, I was not around at that time, of course. I feel like possibly in another life I could have been on the Titanic. You never know. I probably would have been the unsinkable Molly Brown. Was that her name? <laughs> but anyway, I loved her character. So I hope you enjoy these little facts and, and tidbits about the Titanic. I will come back another day with some more. Please subscribe, like, join our YouTube channel. Let us know what you think. Let us know if there's anything you'd like for us to talk about. If you have any questions about what we've talked about or anything that you would like to come on live to our show and talk about yourself, we'd love to have you. Any five-star reviews, of course, are always welcome. We would greatly appreciate that. And I do hope that you each and everyone have a wonderful day today and make good choices. And we will see you next time. Thanks.